Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In, in today's video I'm going to go through um, exercise 1.5 and 1.6 from the Art of Electronics book. Um, so ladies and gentlemen uh, let's get ready to rumble! So in exercise 1.5 Five, um, the book asks you to show that it's not possible to exceed the power of a quarter watt resistor of resistance value greater than one kilo ohms no matter how you connect it in a circuit that operates from a 15 volt battery so that basically means that you're limited to 15 volts maximum power supply and your worst case power dissipation will be at the lowest resistance um, assuming an ideal battery um, therefore um, we're going to do a calculation of the power dissipation of a 1k resistor with 15 volts across it so um, these are all the information that's given by the question it's always important to note it down so um, v squared uh, 15 volts times 15 volts is equal to 225 Divide that by a thousand ohms and we get a power dissipation of 0 0.225 watts. This means that um, at the lowest possible resistance of 1 kilo ohms, we're only going to get a power dissipation of 0 0.225 watts, and which is below the um, question um, requirement of 250 millivolts. So this shows that the... Um, we will never exceed the power dissipation of um, 250 millivolts as stated in the question. We can also show this by simulation. Um, so let's have a look and um, we can set up the circuit that's required. Uh, so I'm going to put down a power source of 15 volts. I'm going to make it ideal. So basically I'm not going to put down any series resistance. So series resistance is set to zero. And so we have this circuit with 15 volts and a resistor um, equal to 1000 ohms. For the simulation, we also need a um, ground. So I'm going to add that in and we press simulate on this um, we'll need to ask um, provide lt spice with um, a simulation time so i'm going to put down one second to calculate the power dissipation across the one uh, 1000 ohm resistor uh, we can look at the current going through it which is i i r r1 and the voltage which is equal to v n n n001 so that is a node name assigned by default um, so what I can do is the power dissipation is equal to P time V times I. So I will do the voltage across, um, across the resistor and the current through the resistor, which gives you the power. So this shows you that it is 225 millivolts. Um, so I accidentally deleted one of the tracks I'm gonna add that back in we can also change the value of this resistance um, with time so we can do 1000 plus time times 8000 so this um, the resistance will start off at a thousand and then will um, increase with time um, to one um, multiplied by a thousand um, this is just to show how the, um, the power dissipation across the resistor changes as you increase the resistance and this will hopefully prove that the worst case power dissipation is when we have the maximum uh, sorry the minimum um, resistance of one kilo ohms so you can see as as the resistance is increased the power dissipation goes down we can also look at the resistance by doing um, ohms law so if we divide voltage by the current, this will give us the resistance. We can see the lowest resistance is one kilo ohms. 
and the highest resistance is 2 kilo ohms. So if you look at this times in seconds, so that's 1 times 1,000, so it's 1,000 plus 1,000. So some neat little tricks for the simulation model that you can use um, in the future if you need to. Moving on to exercise 1.6, um, this exercise is it's a bit odd. Um, I'm not sure why it's here, to be honest, but it, it is optional. For, for this exercise, we basically need to look at a power grid system for New York City. Um, that's the description that's given in the book. New York City apparently requires 10 to the power of 10 watts of electrical power at 115 volts. Um, operating voltage um, so there's the question is divided into kind of four parts um, the first part you need to calculate the power lost per foot um, from I squared R losses the second part um, the, we need to calculate the length of cable where we will lose all of the power that is supplied by the system and then third part of the question we need to calculate how hot the cable will get with that power going through it. And the last part of the question kind of asks you to propose a solution or how you would go around the I, squ I squared R losses that are experienced with a system that's described here. So um, let's kind of dig into the first part of the question. Um, the question does give you a bit more information. So obviously you know the power dissipation or oh, sorry, the power requirement, you know, the voltage, and then it gives you the um, resistivity of the cable uh, per foot. So um, makes our job a little bit easier. We can basically use the power equation. So P equals VI to calculate um, the current that is going through um, the cable. And this will allow us to um, use the I squared R equation to calculate the power lost. Um, so P divided by V gives you the current that's required or the current that's going through the system, um, which is um, equal to 86.96 mega amps. So that's 10 times 10 to the 6. Um, using this number, we can calculate the I squared R losses. So um, P equals I squared times R, so 86.95 times 10 to the 6 squared times um, 0 0.05 micro ohms. And this gives you a power loss per foot of cable as 3.78 times 10 to the 8. And that's your solution for question A. For question B, um, the question asks you to calculate the length of the cable um, where we will lose all power that's supplied by the system. Um, it's quite simple. We're basically dividing the total power by the power lost by the uh, power lost per foot of cable. And we get the answer as 26.45 feet. The third part of the question is a little bit trickier. You can't, you've got to know the Stefan Boltzmann equation which basically tells you the um, heat radiating out of um, an object um, with um, some ratio, some constant in there. Um, you, you basically need to know the area of the cable and the power dissipation. So this has all been given to you in the question. So we just plug in the numbers and this gives you an answer of 12,121 Kelvin which is approximately 11,700 degrees C, I believe. Um, that's Those temperatures basically are telling you that the cable will get very hot. So for example, the surface of the sun, I think is equal to 5,000, um, is roughly 5,000 degrees Celsius. So this is twice as hot as the sun's surface. So obviously this is not possible and um, we're kind of going to answer the last part of the question so we're going to answer the last part of the question here as well obviously it would not be possible to build this system and use it at 115 volts um, basically we need to use high voltages um, so if you look at i squared r losses 
you have a lot of loss um, in the system due to your current and you can reduce the current consumption by increasing the voltage so for long distances you want to transmit your power at 15 kilovolts or maybe 30 kilovolts and that will reduce your current significantly reducing your I squared R losses I hope that was helpful Subscribe to my channel and I will con um, go through all the other questions in this book one by one. Thank you for watching. Bye.